Okay. Praise the Lord, church. Uh, in front of you is GCC Women, Gracious Women Fellowship. You are welcome. We have a presentation entitled Women of Faith. Welcome. We are women, women of faith, united in God's work, sisters in grace, looking to Jesus to lead us each day. We are women, women. Faith. We are women, women of faith, united in God's love, sisters in grace, looking to Jesus to lead us each day. We are women, women of faith. We are joined with love for one another. We share faith in God and we are committed to each other. We are sisters in Christ Jesus. Desiring to serve, leaning on God's promises, standing on his words. We are women, women of faith, united in God's love, sisters in grace. Looking to Jesus to lead us each day. We are women, women of faith. We will glorify. We will glorify the we will glorify the Lord of Lords, who is the great I am. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are women, women of faith, united in purpose and reading from the same script. Amen. Amen. We are very, very grateful to God for giving us this opportunity, this season to serve God in so many things and areas. As you have heard, yesterday we had a very wonderful conference here for women. Actually, we were the host but the conference was for all of us, the Grace Covenant churches that we have in our country, those who managed to come. We were almost 100, almost 100 members who came here, and we really thank God for the opportunity that God has given us, and also for our pastor allowing us to do the ministry. For the first time in the history, we did not have him in our midst. He has allowed us just to to minister to ourselves, and it was great. This movement, let me call it movement, started in a very small way, but what you see God is doing uh, is great. You have heard 
concept has already come here from Kisi, specifically for the conference. And in August, we are headed to their place. Then we gather all those other people from Kisum, Bugoma, all our churches from that region as women, and we are going to gather in that place. And then the climax will be Ukuda. We are going to Ukuda? Ukuda to Naida. So we are all going to Ukuda. And we are now singing our defense. That's those dates. That's going to be in November. This church especially, it is only men who are going to be here. Men only, and maybe children. <laughs> so we actually, we are very serious on that. <laughs> men only. Pastor is saying he's going to be here. We have no problem if he decides to be here. <laughs> but sometimes we carry him by force. So he may not be with you, but the rest we want to announce in advance that you are going to be alone here with the children. Adarain, uh, children. All right. Today is Father's Day. Amen. Happy Father's Day. Ata mukisikia tukijiliga, we have you in mind. And you people you know we love you. And uh, we also appreciate uh, something that you did to make our conference, yesterday's conference, a success. We really appreciate the gift that you gave us. At some point we found ourselves stuck and our dad recognized that. We did not cry to you, but you see, as a, as a father, you see the mood. He read the mood that these girls have stuck somewhere. And when you are called upon to kutukuamua, you did it with love. So receive our gratitude. We were very, very happy. Those of us, who, uh, of you who showed up, and even those who are not in a position, another day, it is you who is going to kwamua wa mama. So God bless you and feel loved. We love you and God bless you. Hello. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I have all the sisters who are seated on that side to be standing? Amen. We just want to appreciate you. What's Chana? Was chana wale wajaolewa wadada wote wa mesimama pande hile. Tusima meni tu. Wale ni youth. Just be on your feet. Amen. Can we remain standing? And then I want all these sisters to put their hands together and appreciate them. <laughs> wow. You get seated. Na joa next time tutakuwa na nyinyi yuku. Sindio? Amen. Aha, today is Father's Day. Can we appreciate the fathers in the house? <laughs> Hello, fathers. Hello, fathers. We can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, we are glad that we have come from a man. Aha, when I say that, you, you understand what I say? All these beautiful girls have come from a father, have come, have come from a uncle, have come from a guardian in the name of a father. And all of us have a man finger in their lives, isn't it? But in this particular time, we appreciate all the fathers in their house. And uh, we are happy that you have become, you are, you are responsible fathers. And you do what you are supposed to do as fathers, whatever it bless you are. And... Uh, as a church in Umoja, we have a father, and that is our father, Dad Bishop Mwale, and we like to appreciate him as our father, come our dada. Amen. Uh, let me say this. Dad, you have been good to us. You've been a true father to us. <laughs> Yes, that's how kids behave in the presence of their dads. We feel protected with your lovely love. 
we feel safe and secure. When you decided to teach us the right doctrine and the right uh, word, we kept our ear to hear keenly. And we got it right. And then when you realized that we are strong enough to go out and preach the gospel, you gave us the permission. And we are so grateful that we have managed to visit so many churches around, which have taught many other churches outside. And for sure, we have made an impact to so many souls. And so we appreciate you as our dad. We love you. We love you. We love you, dad. When you see these sisters and the sisters on the other side, these daughters and the daughters on the other side, know that you have responsible sons as, as daughters. Amen. And it's not even here in Umoja. Even out there. I remember there's a time we could not see our bishop here. We could not see our dad here. We could not feel him here because he is out there. Visiting other GCC churches, visiting other ministries. Why? Because he has that fatherly love just to share what he has, that he has for a son, that he has for a daughter out there in the name of a son. Praise the Lord. I saw that feel appreciated. We love you. And so uh, with the help of our mommy who has been so supportive to him. I am humbly requesting that you remain standing. We feel like appreciating you with something. <laughs> Let's appreciate our dad once more. Let's appreciate him once more. I know if he was in a position to give hugs to all these beautiful girls, he would, because he loves us. But because of interest of time, just allow us to hand him over this token of appreciation. We cannot appreciate him, but we just feel like expressing the love we have for him as daughters, sons, and as Kiyotutun on Penda, like, home. Let's stretch our hands. Let's stretch our hands. We speak a word of blessing to our mom and dad. Yes. Just say a word. Just say a word. Even the rest of the congregants kindly say a word to our dad. He's a dad to all of us. Father, we thank you. We thank you for our dad. You have made him a true father. You have made him, Lord, to be what a father does. Lord, we thank you because you are going to cause him to be a father of many, of many generations, of many sons. He will make an impact out there. Lord, he will make a difference in men hearts. He will be a solution in this nation. He will be a solution to, the, to many continents. He will be a solution to the whole world. And so, Lord, I pray, as you who has, is the father and made us to be what we are, Cause him to make people be what you like them to be. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your name for him. Let's put our hands together and appreciate him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we love you, Dad. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> i